It will be crowded under the fairing for Vega's inaugural launch. She'll be carrying nine passengers. The primary payload is Laris, which will study the lens steering effect, an idea first proposed by Einstein in 1915. As the Earth rotates, it drags anything nearby, causing a shift in the orbits of satellites close to Earth. This was first calculated by the Austrians Josef Lenz and Hans Thüring in 1918. The satellite system looks like a disco ball because it is embedded with very special mirrors that have the properties to reflect back the laser beam shot by a ground station. So by measuring with very high accuracy the ground the round trip uh, uh, distance between the Earth and the satellites, uh, we have uh, the capability to measure this uh, uh, lens steering effect. Also flying is Almasat-1, or Alma Mater satellite, built by the University of Bologna. A demonstrator for future missions, it's the first of a fleet to come. We are trying to um, to validate the um, possibility to applicate uh, terrestrial technologies such as uh, solar cells, uh, optical systems, uh, actuators and uh, other um, tech instruments derived from uh, terrestrial application to be employed for space application. And uh, we are going to um, readapt them for future mission that will follow the Almasat-1 mission. Other payloads are seven CubeSats, also built by university students. ESA has a mandate to motivate young people to embark on scientific careers. Its educational programs include student satellite projects. CubeSats give students a chance to participate in real space work. One of ESA's top educational projects, they confronted students with a puzzle, how to create an experiment for a tiny box. Having 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, just one kilogram, it's uh, a big challenge. But uh, they have big ideas as well, and uh, with the competencies they're developing at university, the students can really pack a lot into those satellites to get them to do some measurements of the space environment or some, demonstrate some new miniaturized technologies for future, future missions. Of course, the students have never been uh, exposed to this opportunity before to actually develop and, and have it launched into space by, uh, by ESA and uh, then of course uh, they get to operate it in orbit so this is a, a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for them. The CubeSats were developed by universities in Spain, France, Italy, Romania, Hungary and Poland and primarily by the students themselves. They gave students hands-on experience in satellite design and operation. These small satellites 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters, one kilogram mass, uh, can be actually built with a limited amount of resources. So they are very popular in the uh, community of the universities. They have actually become an important educational tool. But most of the work has been uh, done by university students. And uh, some of these students, some of these teams actually are also very proud because in their country they are, uh, they, uh, they have become the first team able to build a satellite. So we are going to have PWSAT from Poland, we are going to have Mazat from Hungary and Goliath from Romania. So all these three countries are going to be, uh, to have their own satellite, their own first satellites launched with uh, the Vega Maiden flight. The goal of this qualifying flight is to understand the conditions endured by the satellites in Vega's fairing. This first mission is a full one, but holds the promise of more to come from the successors of these first payloads.